Hi everyone. Today I'd like to talk about two things. One thing very, very important to us and one thing that I think we can have some fun with. And I'd like to introduce both of them this week. The first one is the one that's very important to us. Uh, this week marks back to school. Uh, what takes place is people are back off vacation, they're back home again, they have to get back into a life routine that involves breakfast, lunch, and dinner, making lunches for school, having dinner every night. This becomes food time of the year again. It also gets cooler so people are more comfortable cooking at home, making bigger meals. This is really an important time for the store and it really marks the time of our best selling season of the entire year. The fall and going into the, the winter, the early winter, is really our best food season for the entire year. We go right from back to school, we go right into Halloween, which is a party time. We go from then right into Thanksgiving. From Thanksgiving, we go right into Christmas. From Christmas, we go right into our own can-can sale in January. So really, the next time we get to, to look up and take a deep breath and think that it's all over is sometime at the end of January, the beginning of February. So really from early September right on through to February, this becomes really important time for us in the store. In the meantime, there are a lot of family things that are taking place uh, throughout the, the, the rest of the, uh, the season. There's football season, there's tailgating, there's uh, basketball season, there's a lot of sports on TV, there's a lot of things happening, and people get involved in these things because now they're back in their homes again. Uh, for us, this is a really important time of the year because it kind of makes up uh, a big portion of our volume for the entire year. And it really helps us to get off to a, a tremendous start uh, for the year. So what I'd like to do is remind everyone that, and I have said this every year so, the people who have been here for a while know what I'm going to say, these are traditional holidays. When you get into Halloween, when you get into Thanksgiving, and you get into Christmas, People have traditions and they want to honor those traditions. And in particular, they have food traditions. They want cranberry sauce. Some people want jellied cranberry sauce. Some people want whole berry sauce. They want what they want. They do not want a substitute. They do not want something else. They want what they have had traditionally. In many homes, you will find these traditions go all the way back from great-grandparents through grandparents through parents through children and they continue on generation after generation because these are holidays when people actually honor their traditions. Uh, we also have a large uh, a group of holidays that revolve around the Jewish faith. So there are people who are looking for very specific things because they are again the traditional and important foods you need to have for these occasions to, to honor the heritage that you come from. So for us, it's very important that we understand that and it's very important that we are in stock on those types of foods when people want them. So what I'm asking every department to do is I'm asking you to make a list. And I'm asking you to make a list and say, okay, what do we need during the fall? What do we need for tailgating? What do we need for the Jewish holidays? What do we need for Thanksgiving? What do we need for Christmas? What do we have to prepare for Can Can? And then how are we going to do it? Where's it going to go? Where does it fit on the floor? How is it best to be displayed? How can we put it out so it's easy and convenient for the customer to find so that they can honor their traditions by getting all of the things here that they need? The second thing is we want to be prepared in another way. We want to have the stores clean and spotless as possible because this is a brutal time during the year. The store is going to be very busy. There's going to be a lot of activity taking place. We have less and less time that we dedicate to cleaning and more and more time that we dedicate to just physically having product out on the shelf. So we want to start off in good shape so that we stay in good shape throughout the entire season. This really involves every department in the store. Whether it's the front end, whether it's shop right from home, whether it's a service department or whether it's a, a grocery department, everybody has a part in this holiday because the whole store gets busier, there's a whole lot more activity and a whole lot more uh, customer service that needs to be done. So this is very, very important to us. It really sets the standard for our whole year because our fiscal year begins October 1st. So this really sets the tone for our entire year here in the store and it's very important to all of us. The other thing that takes place is now we lose all of our summer help. We have a lot of new help in the store. It's up to everybody to make sure they understand, make sure they feel part of it, make sure that they, they understand what their contribution to this has to be. So we're asking everybody, kind of take the newer people under your wing and let them know this is what's coming. 
particularly when we get to Can Can. Somebody has to tell the new cashiers what it's like when Can Can hits and the Tudor Rosa tomato cans start coming through the register. Right? So I, I'm asking everybody to take the time. Let's get ready. Let's think it through. Let's make our plan and let's be ready for a great season. Second thing is something I think we can have a lot of fun with. Uh, we're about to run the best bagger contest. This is not just a store contest. Uh, this is a contest for that ShopRite runs, and then we go through New Jersey and we send the winner from Enfield goes to New Jersey to compete in the ShopRite contest. And then the winner of that contest actually goes to Las Vegas, Nevada to compete in the national contest because there is actually a national bagger contest. This is something we can have a lot of fun with. Uh, they form teams, we can play, we can enjoy ourselves, we can laugh, we can have some, uh, build some spirit and some teamwork among the store. Uh, kind of the rules are, are a little bit uh, fuzzy. There are a lot of different things we can do, but let's, let's make it all in the spirit of let's have some fun with this. Let's do it the best we can. I know I have been assigned a team, and I know I'm going to work with my team because I think I want my team to win. But I think everybody should do the same, and I think it's something that all of us should get into for just the sheer spirit of working together as a team in the store and getting to know some of the people who you maybe don't know that well right now, but getting everybody to work together. All right, I thank you, and have a great day.